This is the first test of my PSK decoder uh, using a Arduino Mega and a simple low pass uh, filter. So I, as in my previous uh, videos where I was decoding uh, RIDI, I'm using the exact same hardware except in this case all I've done is I'm taking the output from the PC sound card and I'm feeding it directly into the low pass filter going through the same th uh, train then coming out and going into the Arduino's uh, ADC. So again here's the uh, hardware I'm using to uh, um, do this test. Uh, there's the uh, the um, direct conversion receiver, the Arduino Omega uh, and the um, low pass filters. For this test, as again, I'm not using the direct conversion receiver. All I'm doing is I'm taking the output from a USB sound card, feeding it right into the low pass filter, which then the Arduino is uh, digitizing that via its uh, ADC. So here's the PC software I'm using for the test, uh, I'm using a TTY uh, serial program there, which is uh, receiving TTY output from the Arduino. I'm using FLDG here to transmit a series of uh, characters. So I'll uh, go and I'll enable the decode here. So the decode's enabled, and then I'll go and I will enable the transmission here. So FLDG is now transmitting PSK. And if I go over there, you'll see it being decoded on the screen. So what I've noticed is that I'll get probably, uh, out of every line of text I'm transmitting, I'll get at most about two characters, one to two characters that are not decoded properly. And uh, which is coming out to be about, uh, about a 5% uh, uh, error rate, which is not bad, considering this is a Arduino Mega that's running at 16 megahertz and it's a 10-bit uh, ADC uh, sample. So, you know, for the purpose, I think 5% uh, uh, error is pretty good. Right there, uh, with this test, I'm getting 100% uh, decode, which is pretty darn good for an Arduino. I'm pretty sure actually there's one error there we got so you know that's less than uh, much less than a 5% error rate but as I said I get at most I've seen it where I'll drop two characters per line so you know again it's uh, pretty good for a Arduino anyway that's it that concludes the test thanks